everyone to Fantastic Behind the Mask. I'm your host, Tomaster Gaming, as we continue our journey through this crazy haunted mansion. So far, we have to defeat ghosts in this series. So far, we actually have two defeated right here. The ones that are colored here show which ones we have beaten. The ones that are dark here are the ones we need to take down next. Let's check our task button to see how we're doing. Okay, it looks like it's 55% done with the entire game. And it looks like we need to search Norman's quarters. Norman is the hunter, the third war ghost. Don't know which one of these masks up here is his, but we'll see. In the previous video, we actually took down two of them. Abigail, which is this mask. Her mask was a gas mask, and she was some kind of a plant woman from the backyard in a greenhouse. And as for Claude, he was using this mask. He actually turns people's bones into instruments whenever he composes songs. So the only clue that we got in here is lying. So hopefully, I think I know what we need to do. The map is always useful. It looks like we need to go back to the hallway. Okay, let's see. Um, which one was it? Ah, here we go. I'm betting this is Norman's quarters, just like from last video. This line is the missing animal figure that goes here. Oh, they're moving. There we go. Huh. That was a lot easier than I thought. That was going to be difficult. All right, to the study. Whoa. <laughs> Thomas again? I feel like that boy's watching my every move. Hmm. Okay, for those of you who are new to this video, we're gonna need to find certain collectible objects. Every scene in the game has these rocking horse figurines like this one and some of them about 20 scenes total there's a morphing object so there's our rocking horse here okay and the morphing object it takes the appearance of a normal object while its other shape is a figure that is is a relative character that we've seen before so I think all right let's take a look around before we proceed to Norman's trophy room back here all right, nothing much over here I won't be unscrewing this antler without a tool that's for sure I'm betting that's our second antler I think this allen key might work since it's got a hexagonal shape Yes, indeed. Huh. So, what did Thomas take from this drawer? The handle. A normal wouldn't probably need one, but I still do. I wonder if Norman hunted big fish too. Not with the missing sail. Huh. Thomas's picture. Now, if I remember correctly, there was a family tree in the atrium that contains portraits infused within the tree's roots. They contain the family portraits of the original people who owned this place. So far, we found the father, Horace P. Ward, and the mother, Horace's wife. Thomas is the child, the same person that we heard giggling in this room. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if my microphone's volume is all the way up because last time I noticed that the volume wasn't all the way up and it was a little bit quieter. Hmm. Now, yeah, let's see. I'm going to find that morphine object before we proceed further. Um. Oh, here it is. Watch this candlestick very carefully. See? It takes the form of one of those war ghosts. All right. 
Looks like there's nothing else we need to in here. Except those two IOEs right there. Let's proceed to the trophy room. Whoa, I almost thought they were a lion. Now, these are normal hunting trophies. Now, since the good news is, at first, since these are only his animal trophies. These are all the trophies that Norman has hunted in the past. All right, let's take a look around. Huh, a lot of animals have been slaughtered. I can probably fix this wolf if I can find its eye. Letters. Huh, I wonder what that's for. LW. It's probably Elizabeth Ward. Elizabeth Ward is another member of the family. Turtle shells incomplete, and it lacks one plate. Okay. Norm built a throne for himself, but it doesn't look like he'll need that not as much as not as much as I do. I do have a curved knife, so I should be able to cut this off. Okay, there's the weighted net. Weighted net? Huh. I thought it was just going to be a net. Ah, oh, excuse me. Good thing I just got out from dinner. Alright, collectible. Hmm. There it is, right above the hawk trophy. I have to admit, that is a lot of trophies in here. But I mean, this must be his trophy of the year. It's an award for hunting probably the biggest game. Some hunters hunt for sport. I thought Norman said that he eats whatever he kills. Hmm. I'll we'll have to figure that out sooner or later. Huh. That's odd. It looks like somebody... I think Norman was furious that somebody stole a lot of antlers from his precious collection. I think it was Claude because I found one of the antlers inside his workshop. Well, his music workshop. If you hadn't seen the previous video, it contained a huge room full of bones and creepy stuff. Obviously these horns are in the wrong spots. I think I just need to put them in the right animals. Two for each animal. The animals will glow. The animals' eyes will glow whenever I place the, the correct set of matches. But let's start with the goat. The horns I found must be for this little guy. Okay, this one's correct. All right, let's see. This one is obviously wrong, so I don't think these horns belong on here. This looks like a deer down here or a moose, so let's just put those up there. I mean, down there. Yep, that looks correct. This is a gazelle. Oh, wow. Wasn't expecting that happen. Well, this is an, an ox, so I managed to get that one correct. Here's the gazelle. And now, this is a bison, this is a cow. Alright, there we go. Huh, would you look at that? It's a hidden room. The workshop. Hmm, alright, let's see what critters are lurking behind the secret room. Whoa! Ugh. Those were achy bugs. No, oh, it's just a vision, but I swear I can really feel them. Wow. These dangerous beach, beasts were no match for Norman. I think maybe he placed them in here because of extra. Hmm. Looks pretty still normal in here for me. Is that blood? I wonder if this is where he killed most of his animals. Old blood stains. They even might take back to Norman's time when he was alive anyway. The chain might help me open the drain if I can attach it somehow. The lid might be a little bit too heavy. Let's see if there's anything in my inventory here. A hawk. This might work. Oh, there we go. 
Okay, we got a plunger in our inventory. Weird. Time to go fishing down the slaughterhouse drain. Let's see. Plunger? No. Wait a minute. This must be the handle that was missing. Thing from that cabinet in the study. Oops, sorry. Milk fell. Mike fell. Gotta be sure it's kept up and balanced. Let's find this curtain. What is that? What's stuck in the glob of rustin? A piece of turtle shell? Maybe I can cut it off. No, it's not a real skeleton. It's just a skeleton made out of metal. And I'll probably take that. That's out of place. This is our missing wolf eye. There's our collectible rocking horse if we ever need one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not careful. Sorry. I actually kicked the table. A strange symbol shaped like an animal is the key to opening this small cabinet. Oh, cool. An insect terrain. But there's something in here. Can't touch that. If only I could get rid of the bugs somehow. Maybe bug spray can get rid of it. Okay, I got the sail. I got the handle. I got a few items in that trophy room. I should be able to do that. Let's first start off with the turtle shell. What the? Um, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, it's some sort of sequence. Okay, I think I got it now. Doesn't give out which order, but... Gives out a strange thing. My father is really in for a surprise tomorrow. Everything is set for a hunting accident. I prepared a special crossbow bolt that will pierce his heart like a knife through butter. N.W. Otherwise known as Norman Warp. Hmm. Looks like he had a bit of a grudge with his father. Norman must have really hated his father. He put serious thought into murdering him. Hunter illustration. Let's put our wolf eye back. Okay, the deer insignia. That might be the key to